Do you have an entrepreneurial spirit? You can be your own boss, but it takes more than a good idea to launch a successful venture. Entrepreneur and small business expert Susan Solovic shares the best resources, tips, and trends to help your small business grow. Good morning, Susan. Why is now a good time to start a business given the economy? Well, actually, you know, in, in a down economy, a lot of major brands have started, so it's a great time to start a business. If you think of some of the major brands in our country, something like Apple Computers, it started in a down economy. Um, so, you know, if you have the right business idea, like you were saying, you define your value proposition and you practice good business fundamentals, you can start and grow a successful small business. Well, that's some good news here, but a lot of us are probably wondering, how do we do that? <laughs> what are some tips? <laughs> Right. Well, actually, the first thing is a lot of biz a lot of small business owners that I talk to, they buy into this concept that passion is all they need to be successful in small business because they hear if you're passionate about your business, you can't help but succeed. And I always say that's a bunch of bunk. Passion mm -hmm. is important, but you also, as I was saying earlier, you have to understand the business fundamentals that it takes to create a successful business. It's a high-risk opportunity for you, so you've got to practice good, solid business fundamentals. The other the other thing is a lot of business owners, especially in those early days when they're just getting started, they're doing everything themselves and they just get overwhelmed and they're looking for ways to be better time managers, to be more mm -hmm. productive. One of the things that's really a game changer is technology. Technology is allowing small businesses to be more productive and more profitable. So let me share an example with you. I work with Inc. from Chase and they offer a mobile application called Jot. Now Jot allows you to track, manage and categorize your expenses in real time. So that means you don't have to worry about going back to your office and doing all that administrative work, plus you're tracking and managing your cash flow. So, but it gives you the opportunity to be out there promoting and selling your business, mm -hmm. which is what you need to do in order to grow. That makes a lot of sense. So what are some of the challenges facing small businesses today? You know, there are a lot of challenges. One of the challenges is, you know, small businesses say, I can't get any money to start my business. And honestly, Christian, I have to tell you, you know, most small businesses start with about less than $10,000. Mm -hmm. They're funded with personal assets or family-friendly funding. So I always, my mother used to say, Susan, where there's a will, there's a way. If you bootstrap and you're innovative, there is a great way to get your business going. You may not be a big rollout. You may not mm -hmm. be this, everything you want at first, but there are ways to get out there and make it and make it happen okay so you work really hard and you raise this money to get your small business started you really want it to succeed what are some of the reasons that so many of the small businesses fail well, there are reasons such as they don't have a business plan, so they just go out there and get started and they haven't thought through. One of the things I advise small businesses to do is to look at what do they want their business to become. So this is the time, Kristen, that you get to like read the last chapter of the book first or watch the end of the movie first. What do you want it to look like at the end of the day? That allows you to think about, okay, what are the pieces of the puzzle I'm going to need to put together in order to get from this starting point to my vision of where I want it to go. Without that vision, you're just out there doing it, doing it, doing it, and then you get caught up. It's like a hamster on a, a treadmill thing, a little wheel going around, and you don't have time to lift your head and to make those critical business decisions that help you grow. So you need to really have that vision when you're starting that business. Right. So you need a vision, you need passion, you need social media. What are some of the other resources that people can utilize to have a successful small business? You know, I love it that you said social media. And if you don't mind, just let me mention that uh, mm -hmm. there was a recent survey that showed that over half of women-owned businesses um, are embracing social media to mark their market their business. Mm -hmm. And you know, once again, just like technology, social media is a game changer. It doesn't really cost you anything. It's just your commitment of time. But it's a great way to get your brand out there, create, mm -hmm. create brand awareness, to, to meet clients, potential clients, customers, as long as you don't turn into a sales pitch. It's not an infomercial. It's about building relationships. I often call it, you know, the old-fashioned fa face-to-face networking. It's just mm -hmm. cybercharged on the internet. So that's a great way to market your business. Um, but also, you know, you've got to get out there and think about who are the who's the team that I need to help grow my business. A lot of small businesses uh, they're starting off on their own and they never think about who that next person is they're going to add to their staff. So it's important to have the right people in the right seats. And I see a lot of small businesses making a mistake 
mistake by that first critical hire mm -hmm. is a mistake. It's often a friend or a family yeah. member, and they don't have the skills to help you get to the next level. Right. So be careful who you include in your planning and, and who right. you pick out to help you get those businesses started. Now, are there small business grant programs available, and how can small business owners take advantage of those? Well, you know, lots of businesses say, you know, where can I find money to grow my company? And then they want to know, aren't there grants out there to help me grow? And typically, I say, you know, there's no such thing as free money. Right. But recently, Living Social and Chase teamed up, and they are proving me wrong. There's a program mm -hmm. called Mission Small Business. You can go to the website, missionsmallbusiness.com, okay. and you can apply for a grant there. You got, And then you have until June 30th to get all your friends, your family, your customer, your vendors out there voting for your small business. Okay. And then uh, what's going to happen is Chase is going to get a panel of experts to review these online applications and 12 small businesses will get a grant for $250,000. Wow. You've got to put that on your to-do list. Oh yeah, yes. for sure. Now where can our viewers go uh, for yeah. more information about starting small businesses? Well, I'd certainly refer your viewers, Kristen, to inkfromchase.com okay. because uh, there are great resources there to s help you build your business. Also, once again, missionsmallbusiness.com. That's okay. where you can apply for that grant of $250,000. And my website is susansolovic.com, and I'm always there to help small businesses get started and to grow successful business enterprises. Okay, great. Thank you so much, Susan. Wonderful information this morning. Thank you, Kristen. It was a pleasure to be here, and hello to everybody in Albuquerque, all you small businesses out there. <laughs> okay, thank you. Well, coming up next on New Mexico Style, details about the longest-running art show in the state. Stick around.